Have you ever wondered if it's possible to keep guinea pigs on a budget? Are you worried about spending too much on your pets? Do you feel like you're falling victim to inflation, shrinkflation, and greedflation from merchants? Hi, Daniel. Do you know why the guinea pig quit his job? He found another one with a bigger salary. Many people have asked if it's possible to cut spending while keeping their guinea pigs healthy and happy. After years of owning guinea pigs and studying economics, I've developed some fantastic strategies to manage your guinea pig budget efficiently. Food prices went up to 10.2%. Families that are struggling to buy food for their kids. When big corporate firms decide to exploit inflation, it's called greedflation. Welcome back to the guinea pig facts, I'm Daniel and today we'll explore different ways to manage your guinea pig budget with some fun projects you can make for free at home. By the end of this video you'll learn how to make a great living space for your guinea pigs without busting your budget. To start off, guinea pigs need a large cage, but you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on one. One of my favorite options that will allow you to avoid spending a fortune on their habitat is the CNC cage system. CNC stands for cubes and chloroplast or corrugated plastic. These cages are popular for housing guinea pigs because they are affordable, easy to build and customizable. You can purchase CNC grids on Amazon by searching for grid shelves and cube storage. If you plan to build your own, don't forget the plastic bottom. Initially, I used an old wooden table for the cage, thinking the fleece bedding would protect the surface. After a month, I realized the plastic layer is essential when I saw mold on the wood. The recommended cage size for two guinea pigs is at least 24 inches by 36 inches. For creative ideas on CNC cages, check out the website Squeak Dreams, which showcases many creative CNC cage setups. One tip to save money on your setup is to get an old table or bed frame from a thrift store or from a second hand. After building a big cage for your guinea pigs, it is time to prepare the bottom to make your pets comfortable. Cage bedding will be one of the recurring costs throughout your guinea pig's lifetime. Whether you use disposable or reusable bedding, planning ahead can help you save money. There are two types of bedding I recommend for guinea pigs. Fleece liners that can be reused repeatedly, or disposable bedding like recycled paper or wood shaving made for guinea pigs and small rodents. To save money on disposable bedding, try buying it in bulk. While it takes up more space, it doesn't have an expiry date, so you can store it for future use. If you prefer fleece bedding as we do, having multiple sets of fleece liners is the key to save money on laundry. Use smaller sections of fleece in high traffic areas to manage your laundry by replacing only the dirtiest parts daily instead of the entire liner. One way to save money is to visit thrift store for used fleece blankets. Cut them to fit your cage and have backups ready before you do your laundry. Another alternative is using bath mats which are absorbent and easy to replace. Accessories are always fun to look at, but most are designed to appeal to human eyes rather than being truly useful for your guinea pigs. The ones sold online or in pet stores can be very expensive and sometimes not very practical. While some accessories are undeniably cute, my advice for saving money is to take your time and consider if they are really essential. For the safety and comfort of your guinea pigs, each one must have a place to hide and rest. Wooden or plastic hideouts are charming but can be pricey too. Instead, look around at home for alternatives. One of Raven and Squash's favorite hiding spot is an old plastic tunnel that came with a children's wooden train set. Pumpkin and Brownie love the cardboard house I make from recycled Amazon boxes. If you have an extra CNC grids, you can create a box and cover it with a towel or fabric to give them some privacy. The other essential accessories for your guinea pigs are water bottles and bowls. I recommend investing in a good quality water bottle like the one I feature on my Amazon affiliate page. They might be more expensive initially, but they last longer and they don't leak like cheaper ones. For bowls, don't make the same mistake that I did and avoid using plastic ones. Instead, use ceramic bowls, especially for water. When Pumpkin first arrived, she had the habit of flipping the bowl and spilling water on the fresh fleece liner. Before buying ceramic bowls, check if you already have some at home or get some in a big store at a very low price. Because your guinea pig requires a fiber-rich diet with added vitamin C, here are some tips to help you provide all the necessary nutrients without breaking the bank. Feeding your guinea pig is a crucial part of your budget to keep them healthy and happy. With a bit of creativity and planning, you can avoid breaking the bank and still provide the best care for your pet. Here are some tips to help you improve your food budget for your guinea pig. 
Hay is the cornerstone of a healthy guinea pig diet providing essential fiber. Your guinea pig should always have access to fresh hay. To save money, consider buying it in bulk from a local producer instead of purchasing small bags. For example, you can get 10 times the quantity for 5 times the price. Buying in bulk such as 10 or 20 pounds boxes also ensure the hay is fresh and less dusty. Fresh vegetables are vital for your guinea pig's health, providing necessary fibers and vitamin C. Prices for vegetables can fluctuate based on global economic conditions, but there are ways to avoid high costs. The good news for you and your guinea pigs is that it is easy to find alternatives to avoid price hike. Some markets offer free vegetables part they can sell, such as carrot tops, celery heads and fennel, even corn husk. Don't be shy to bring home those ugly veggies. They are just as nutritious and often cheaper. Your guinea pigs will love them just the same and they won't judge you for getting them. One of the most rewarding things is to grow your guinea pig's food at home. Many guinea pig friendly vegetables are easy to grow in small spaces. Leafy greens like lettuce and spinach, as well as herbs like cilantro and parsley, can be grown in pots on windowsill or balcony. Personally, we've been feeding our guinea pigs fresh organic wheatgrass almost every evening. After finding a local producer of wheat seeds, we realize it only takes a bit of soil and water to get a regular crop. You should see their face when they smell the fresh cut grass. Another way to get cheap guinea pig food when you live outside the city is to collect herbs and flour directly from the nature. Be cautious, as some plants and flour are not safe for your guinea pigs. Ensure there are no fertilizer, pesticide or herbicide on the plants you collect. For more information on safe outdoor plants, I recommend watching the excellent video guide from guinea pig girls and checking other online resources. Before we dive into the fun of expressing your creativity for your guinea pigs, we need to address the elephant in the room. Let me get this straight. One important cost in your guinea pig budget is the veterinary charges. Guinea pigs are good at hiding signs of illness, so regular vet visits are crucial to detect any symptoms and save your pet when something goes wrong. While vet fees are essential for your guinea pig's well-being, there are ways to save money. If you are a new guinea pig owner or planning to become one, my first tip is to find a veterinarian in advance. Not only will you know where they are, but you can also ask about the cost of their services. A good vet will be happy to tell you the price for basic services like annual checkups, x-rays, antibiotics, and common procedure. Knowing these chargers helps you manage your budget more efficiently. To ease the burden of the vet bill, ask in advance if they offer payment plans. Try to build an emergency fund to avoid the stress of delaying treatment or balancing your personal needs with those of a sick guinea pig. Planning an annual visit is another way to control your budget. Regular checkups can save your pet and help you avoid more significant expenses later. I know that it's not easy to talk about this subject, so let's end on a positive note. Here are some fun and expensive projects you can do at home with your guinea pigs. I'm sure that you and your guinea pigs will enjoy them. If you made it that far in the video, you deserve a guinea pig kiss. Boop that subscribe button to be the first to know when my new videos are posted. Did you know that instead of buying toys and accessories at the pet store or online, it's easy to make your own? One of my favorite projects is making a cardboard hideout for my guinea pigs. I reuse a small clean box from online shopping. I create two openings in the box. Make sure to remove the bottom of the box as your guinea pig will be happy to relieve themselves in their new comfy house. An even easier toy to make is a hay roll. Recycle a clean cardboard tube and fill it with hay. You can also add treats, forage herbs or dry flowers in it. This is my guinea pig's favorite toy and usually there's not much left after a week. Try this at home and let me know how your guinea pigs react to it. Some guinea pig owners are great at sewing and making your own accessories out of fleas can be a fun project. Content creators like Squeak Dreams sell patterns online for projects like cuddle pouch, fleece tunnels and more. If you have the time, equipment and know-how, you will feel very proud of your own creation. Creativity and planning ahead are the keys of keeping your guinea pigs happy without breaking the bank. Sometimes, I treat myself to buying them an extra toys or treat, and thanks to all the saving tips, I know I can afford it. Trust me, when my guinea pigs see me coming with a treat, they are really thrilled. Or maybe it's because they can smell it, since their far vision isn't great. Want to know how your guinea pigs really see the world? Check out my video and find it out. Because you stay till the end, you're an amazing guinea pig owner. Thanks for watching.